Experts said heat waves and droughts will pose the greatest threat in the next decade as temperatures continue to rise due to heat trapping gases. The United Nations report coincides with the observance of International Day for Disaster Risk Reduction. This year's theme relates to strengthening disaster risk governance at the state level. The president of the Grenada Red Cross Society, Samantha Dixon, says local agencies are cognizant of the need to continually sharpen response mechanisms. What that means is that uh, having frameworks and policies in place to guide the work that we do, um, enabling us to be accountable to um, the beneficiaries, the donors, and doing things together in a comprehensive way to meet the needs and to keep people safe at all times. We need to um, give some emphasis and some attention to actual disaster management laws and legislations and policies, um, because we can only do so much with activities on the ground, for example, but if we are not governed by the frameworks um, and policies and, and, let's say, laws at the national level, um, then we kind of like just doing activities without any, as we would say, legal uh, tooth, as we normally say um, in layman language. This year's observance comes in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as the Atlantic hurricane season, both of which require disaster management and response initiatives. The Red Cross Society is considered a lead partner in disaster management. We engage in a methodology called CEA, Community Engagement and Accountability. So it's one thing for the Red Cross, let's say, to have a policy or to have a program. But if we do not have persons in the community engaged, then um, it's like spinning top in mud, as we say. But so being on the ground and the Red Cross is known to be on ground, on foot, um, we try to work with families to have their family design disaster plans in order and it's not just about hurricanes like I said before so each family must sit down think about all the things that can put them at risk. China and the United States recorded the highest number of disaster events from 2000 to 2019. Eight of the top 10 countries are in Asia. Some 7,348 major disaster events were recorded globally. These claimed over a million lives. They affected 4.2 billion people and caused $2.97 trillion in economic losses during the two-decade period. For GBN News, I'm Odette Campbell reporting.